it's Laurie, back and better than ever. Uh, I wanted to pop on and do a quick unboxing of a new deck that just came in the mail about a minute ago. And, and the deck in question is the, I did prepare this, okay. Mildred Payne, Oracle of Black Enchantment from Patrick Valenza of the Deviant Moon. And also in the package, I got the 69th card for Mildred Payne. I'll have to edge that. It can go right there. And also, because they always send along some fun little extras, this is the full card. That's what I need today. <clears throat> the full card, it's been a crazy Mercury retrograde already with the technical problems that were had on the Terrathon, a little bit, not too bad. Okay, so I decided to pop on the internet to print the little white book. And so I forgot that you would be able to hear the printer. So I apologize, hopefully that's not too loud. All right, let's open this up. And, ooh, there we go. I'll definitely be blacking the edges of that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so I and did end up printing the little white book from the website and uh, it's a PDF format, and so I printed it as a booklet and stapled it. So now let's see if we're gonna focus. Okay, so now we're gonna have that. Great. This is Cavalcade, and the, so the booklet basically shows um, the card the keyword, a little blurb about it, a dark meaning and a light meaning. So I guess maybe the dark meaning is upright and the light meaning is reversed. Or, you know, just how it falls in your, in your reading. So, the cavalcade, card one. Beware the end of peaceful days has arrived. The cavalcade of mischief exits the gates of hell, intent on spreading chaos around the world. The dark meaning for this is a seemingly never ending procession of problems may be coming your way. Prepare for a season of multiple troubles, one damn thing after another. A can of worms opened. And the light meaning, a series of unique challenges will lead to personal growth once the problem is overcome. So that's kind of the, the setup of the... But I can see how this is. Look, we've got all these problems coming. Or we've overcome all the problems and they're leaving. Cool. Okay, so to the angry mob... I'm not going to read every single one. This one is about forces rising up against your ambitions or resistance, mutiny, rebellion, also unity, coming together for a common cause, coalescing. So, yeah, okay, that's going to work. The gardener, the housemaid, uh, tired of the troublesome weeds growing wild in her garden, proceeds to behead the plants with a quick snip from her pruning shears. Oh, dear. Death of one's ideas, someone cutting you down to size, a critical or destructive person, the light meaning, getting rid of problems once and for all, taking personal responsibility, or eliminating negativity, cutting negativity. Cut that negative, toxic thing out. Four, ooh, abduction. The dark meaning is loss, stolen property, robbery, something or someone taken from you prematurely. The light meaning is an easily solvable crime or mystery. Follow the clues to their logical conclusion. Five, sleigh mates. A trio of skeletal children holds hands and dance together, unaware or caring of their morbid situation. Sleigh mates. What is the meaning? Ignoring an impending problem? Yeah, do you think? Neglecting to take care of a serious situation, not stressing over what can't be controlled living carefree in the moment, putting off your worries for tomorrow. Let's play instead of work, that kind of thing. Okay, that works. Wrapped witches. This is thought control, brainwashing, propaganda, or the gift of persuasion or convincing other people. Being a smooth talker, 
I guess because he's basically got them trapped. Astral projection. A young girl curls up in her warm bed and dreams the night away. Her subconscious energy transcends the limits of her mortal body into a new dimension of possibilities. She must be careful not to stray too far for a band of mischievous, no, treacherous. That's very different. Treacherous spirits looks to cut her spiritual cord and steal her soul. The dark meaning, vulnerability, putting yourself out there, risk, the light meaning, going beyond your limit, connecting to spirit and visions. So, all right, I think I get that. You know, here, connecting to spirit or putting yourself out there. So, yeah, I think this is, I think this is going to be a very workable deck. Did I show the back? These are quite big cards. Um, so, there we go. That was sitting right there all along. You can see how big they are. And these are the backs. They go that way, so they're kind of up and down. Okay. Um, astral projection. The angel. Uh, she's trying to remind the demon not to speak so freely. This one is gossip and, and rumors, bad rumors, uh, hurtful language, situations that require manners or etiquette or discretion, um, or not being able to, not being afraid to call somebody out for what they're doing. She's like, you have to stop all of this fiery language. Or, you know, talking bad things about people. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is a card, isn't it? Okay, um, not for the faint of heart. This is the sick witch. She is filled with sickness and decay, vomits into a golden chalice. Two deplorable creatures stand beside her. One offers assistance. The other scratches himself in confusion. Um, gosh. Yeah, he's turned around. That's a tail. Okay, wow. Um, disease, sickness, uh, the poor results of physical neglect or bad habits, ridding yourself of toxin, cleansing the body, or a purge. I can see how that's... You need a cleanse. <laughs> okay. Ten. Herbs. Herbs. Uh, shown are three rare and magical herbs representing the botanical sources for the witch's potion. Dangerous or secret ingredients, poison, poisonous combinations, an unsolvable equation, or, or a remedy. A solution created by combining various elements. Interesting. Okay. Spilled secrets. Bad mistake with dire consequences. Ooh, I'll say. Dropping the ball. Incompetent, lack of cooperation, or evil deeds finally uncovered for the world to see and the truth revealed. Excellent. Okay, 12. The Healing Witch. She's using her healing powers to cure a sick child. A grotesque demon rises out of his mouth. Uh, this is a bout of prolonged sickness. Low energy, physical or mental depletion, worry for a loved one. Or it could be about a cure, help, helpful medical assistance, kindness, compassion. Convalescence. Oh, so wait, we had the, where was the sick witch? Right here. So we have the sick witch and the healing witch. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Okay. Ooh, we've got a naughty kitty. This is the black cat, which means bad luck or bad omens, superstition, or taking control over your disempowering beliefs. Choosing to create one's own destiny instead of leaving it to chance. I feel like I like the dark meanings better than the light meanings, but it's flexible. It's good. The cauldron, a bad mix, evil deeds or plans coming together, or things breaking up. Oh, no, wait, sorry. Breaking up or dissolving a big problem, taking a few bad things and turning it into something good. Lucifer. I wondered about this card. It's on the box. I was kind of curious about it. It's very medieval. The king of darkness squats on his fiery hill, summoning the forces of evil and raining damnation on all people. Goodness gracious me. Unchecked evil and malevolence, oppression, supreme darkness, supreme darkness, a totalitarian leader, a severely sadistic person, or the ability to recognize evil for what it is, a worthy opponent one must face in order to be set free. I like that idea. Okay. He's got all this stuff going on here. Fire and rain. 
Alrighty, this is The Execution. A notorious gang of evildoers swing by the neck of the gallows. Dire consequences, guilt by association. Justice served. Or the satisfaction of seeing those who have harmed you get what they deserve. My goodness. Okay. This is The Dispute. Two matrons are struggling to gain possession of a child's skeleton. If they are not careful, they will pull the creature apart and be left with nothing. This is a struggle against someone whose power is equal to yours, so a stalemate, a conflict, an impasse. Also maintaining your rights, no matter the cost. Or this may indicate that it's time to seek impartial, an impartial third party. And the city, glorious walled city, shines like a gem on the hilltop. Uh, let's see. The good life. Oh, the good life teeters on the brink. Hardships threaten to breach the walls of protection you thought would keep you safe. An imminent collapse of all you worked for. So this is a bit like the tower in the darker meaning, the tower card in tarot. The light meaning is strong and enduring legacy built to withstand the ages. The pinnacle of accomplishment in a society or a great project coming to fruition. So that, that would be like the tower in the Lenormand deck. Because that, the tower in the Lenormand is a, more of a positive card. Well, you know what I mean. I'm not saying one is positive, one is negative. Okay, this is Harbinger. The Harbinger of Death returns to his master after unleashing destruction upon the city. Ruin, chaos, dark plans fulfilled, or the return of a loved one after an ordeal, or the safe recovery of something once lost. Fido, you've come back. That looks a little bit like the dog from... Um, oh, what's the Nightmare Before Christmas? I don't know. It reminds me something. Oh, and there's my dog. Okay. What was that again? The Harbinger. Okay. Everybody's got to have somebody to love, huh? Even if you're deaf. The Demon Ship. A ship filled with demons ride the rides the waves. Um, but one of the demons snags a mermaid. Oh, that's not nice. So the meaning is trouble, invaders, unwelcomed guests. No. Exposure to foreign ideas or new groups of people arriving in your life. That's a good thing. Okay. Next, the attack. A pack of terrifying lions maul a demon. Uh, it can mean an overwhelming assault, a vicious attack, being ganged up on, or using everything you have to attack a problem and being relentless at it. Yeah, this is a good deck. I like this a lot. I really like this, being able to find the, like the power in dark dark cards or scary images or whatever. Being able to find a, a way to go forward, you know, take take this and move forward. I like that. That's good. Okay, 22. Abandonment. Aww. Uh, abandonment, isolation, or, you know, leaving uh, something for a better life. Leaving someone behind. Okay. 23, the sentencing. A woman stands tied to a stake accused of witchcraft. Uh, brandishing a torch, one of the henchmen prepares to ignite the wood. Dire consequences for one's actions. Um, being unjustly convicted of a wrongdoing, circumstantial evidence, or justice enforcing the law. Okay, there was another one that was like a, like a justice card. Where was it? Here. That one. So, I'm, I'll be looking at that to see kind of what the... This is sort of like the... I think this is the outcome. And this is more... I think this is a little bit more justice, whereas this might be a little bit more karma, maybe, or end results of something. I don't know. I have to, I have to think about them a little bit. I don't know right now. Revenge. Um, a witch who was burned at the stake for supposed crimes returns in a fiery rage and seeks revenge against her frightened persecutors. I bet they are. Okay. And uh, a flare-up. Um, it could be a flare-up from something you thought was once resolved, or recurring trouble, or a serious problem that refuses to go away, or revenge, coming back stronger. Those who doubted you are now on the run. Yeah, this is a, that's a good one. That's very usable, particularly with uh, the idea of, you know, this is a recurring problem. This is something that keeps flaring up over and over again. That's good. I like that. Okay. Frozen Charlottes. Frozen Charlottes. Okay. A little girl joyfully plays in her room with an assortment of figures. A black hand pokes through the window, offering her a new addition to her collection. It can be bribery, evil offerings, um, temptation, unwanted obligations, or accepting a gift or uh, a token of friendship. 
That's great. I like that. The tw uh, no, the white cat. Going against its killer instincts, white cat befriends a group of birds. The birds have learned to trust the cat and play merrily around it without worry. Ha ha ha. Silly birds. Okay, the dark meanings ignore your intuition at your own peril. <laughs> Being oblivious to an obvious danger or being lured into a trap, blind trust, making an ally out of an enemy, cooperation, despite a history of past differences. So that would compare with, oh, there it is, the black cat. Interesting. Oh, see, now this makes me think of the Sibylla card, where you have uh, two different kinds of enemies. One is an enemy, the male enemy, who's kind of um, out there and very obvious. And the other is um, Nemica, I believe, who's the female enemy, the nemesis, who is someone you may not know about because she's not out in the open, I believe, or I may have those reversed. But that kind of reminds me of that. Um, one is an obvious danger because he looks scarier than this one, but this one's still a danger. Cool, okay. 27. The drowning. Storm overruns the sky, rain pours down, drowning both saints and sinners. Uh, it could be, you know, overwhelming emotions, helplessness or just cleansing your spirit and emotions, washing away something old so you can start again. Excellent, good. I love the way, these remind me a lot of the versatility of the Mildred Payne, where you can have both light and, um, you know, for instance, this can be about being industrious, working hard, things like this, or it could be directly related to your job. There's lots of different ways. Saturn is, for me, I have my own little, I have my own little cheat sheet of the meanings that I use for these, but Saturn is male energy and it can be, you know, like positive male energy or it can be too much male energy and just, you know, turn it off. Um, so it looks like these are gonna have that flexibility as well, which is fantastic. The farmer, um, oh, okay. Oh golly, look what's happening in this picture. Um, <laughs> it's not a plow. He's misusing that demon. Look at that, it says, the hardy farmer plows his field under sunshine and rain. Although the elements provide everything needed for success, the farmer still curses them under his breath. An ungrateful person being unappreciative, exploitation, clearly. Hating one's occupation, or it can be hard work. Doing what's necessary regardless of whether you like it. Oh, you don't have to like it, you just have to do it. Yeah, okay. 29, levitation. Yeah, he is levitating to the surprise of the townsfolk. Strange forces not easily explained. A dark display of power. A believable illusion over gullible people. Oh, these cards are good. Okay. The light meaning is the ability to transcend limitations, a miracle or hidden skills revealed or rising above the crowd. Yeah, this is good. This is great. Love it. Okay. The violinist plays a hypnotizing melody to a group of entranced maidens. The dark notes transforms flying demons. I said I was going to stop reading them, didn't I? Okay, so this is seduction, dark charm, or it can be a delightful distraction. Okay. That looks like fun. Sun dances. Oh, a joyful group of virgins frolic through the meadow during the summer solstice. They are carefree and give little thought to the inevitable approach of winter. Is winter in there? Nope, the winter's not shown in there. Oh yeah, there he is. A harbinger, the harbinger of death is coming. And they've got all those little naked bums. That he could bite. All right, good times long gone, wishing for better days, blissful ignorance, or happiness with friends, beautiful days, memories, living in the moment. Oh, I like it. I love it. I love it, great. And, oh, look at this. Okay, how cool is that? The grave, a rotted corpse lies in its grave, longing to feel the sun again and join those happy dancers above. Uh, death, confinement, feeling trapped or isolated, um, wishing for something that once was but never will be again, taking time to recharge, putting yourself in a voluntary cocoon like hermit. Um, consolation, the witch is trying to console a young lass trying to make her feel beautiful despite her apparent flaws. Meanwhile, a trio of highfalutin women discuss ways to keep the girl outside of their clique. So the meaning is about rejection, being ostracized from a group, um, feeling unworthy, recognizing or recognizing your beauty, being different and accepting it as a special gift, self-worth or having real friends in troubled times. The falling woman, 
humbleness, uh, no, sorry, helpness or insecurity, losing control, time to let go and trust regardless of um, a seemingly hopeless situation. Oh, look, salvation. The falling woman's prayers have been answered. Winged souls swoop from the stars and rescue her, taking her back to the top of the tower, saving something that was better left for dead, giving um, status to someone undeserving, elevating a misguided idea, or salvation, rescue, divine intervention, having a good support system. 36. The serpent, an intimidating serpent, coils its body and prepares to strike. Uh, selfish aggression, material gain or power achieved through the cost of others, exploitation. Um... Oh, these five heads that are emerging from the tail are reminding the beast of the souls that he has conquered in battle. So it may also represent a leader who recognizes that their power comes from people. Or this may be an aggressively strong organization or political party that eats people. Okay, 37. The, the sleeping demon tries to fall asleep after a long day. It can be about taking a break when you're supposed to be working or being lazy or procrastinating or just... Refreshing yourself before you try again. Um, a well-deserved rest after a productive session. Ah, oh, he's the magician. And he's sleeping. I like his wings, actually. This is a pretty, pretty card. Okay. 38. The deathbed. Moonlight falling on the body of an old woman as she sleeps peacefully. An eternal death. The beauty she had in life is manifested into a bed of flowers. So the dark side of this card could be about um, not living to see or not being able to be part of something that you worked to create or missing out on a reward, but it could also be you know, a part of you that lives on forever and a life well lived, enduring gifts or enduring love. That's, that's nice, I like that about the moon. They accuse you. Hallucination, two monks Usher a crazed young man out of a monastery, unable to see the demon taunting him. Perhaps the man is not insane after all. It's only his eyes are not deceived by the demon's invisibility. So the dark meaning might be not taken seriously or social pressure to conform or recognizing what others are blind to, uh, going against dogma or the powers that be in pursuit of the truth. Yep, that's a good card. Okay, here we go. Um, the outing, a diabolical quartet, strolls across the countryside, however, some enjoy it more than others. So this is antagonistic behavior, bullies, pranksters, showing off, trying to impress others, or, you know, making the best of a hurtful situation, having a sense of humor, and flirting. The tree... Hmm. So here's an ancient tree that stands in the woods, and while the other, while the other seasons have caused... Sorry, while the seasons have caused other trees to lose their leaves, this old tree maintains all of its foliage. The meaning could be jealousy, envy of another's success, trying to bring somebody down, or it could be wisdom using your natural gifts to stand out from the crowd, an old soul that flourishes despite the hardships endured through life. Oh, so these are all like jealous, angry trees coming to get this tree because this tree has better leaves than that one does. Okay, excellent. I'm ready. The pact. The frau and the devil meet alone in the woods to seal their evil pact. A dark deal, treacherous collaborations, or a truce, mutual understanding. It may be excellent terms. The twilight riders. Uh, let's see. They are flying over the moon on the way to the witch's sabbath. And it says, take heed, enemies are assembling, malevolence is <laughs> intensifying. Sorry. <sighs> I'll get through this. Or an excursion, joining with like-minded folks. <laughs> it's a get-together. Oh, gosh, that's great. That is great. I really like that. Look at that broom. The shooting star. Yeah, these are beautiful. I love this faux woodcut look. Nightmares, scary dreams. Now, what's interesting about that is, you know, this one's really frightened and he's driving the horse, but this one's like, yeah, get out of here, demons. Here's what I think of you. He's giving the finger. Even the horse is like, farting in the demon's genital direction. So, um... <laughs> it's about nightmares, scary dreams, you know, or 
taking your fear in stride, staying one, tip, one step ahead of fear, getting the lead on your worries and your anxieties. Yeah, these are good. This is good. And the the guidebook is, is great. I like the keywords and the descriptions. I think it's good. Okay. I wonder who these people are. This guy looks really familiar to me. Does he look like someone, maybe someone famous or well-known? Hmm. Okay. Uh, the seance, a group of mourners trying to communicate with the dead. They, they do not notice that that's a ghost. Hello, there's a ghost. They don't even notice. Look, and she's got a cloven hand of some sort or many fingers. I can't tell. Okay. Means uh, someone may be trying to get in touch with you. <laughs> Communicating with a distant friend. Combining energies for greater purpose. Yeah, this is good. The fish thief. A hungry boy tries to run off with a fish that he stole from the sea. The mermaids are going to get it back. But they can't because they can't leave the sea. So they're just going to tell him off. You bring that fish back. No. This one's like, what just happened? I was asleep. Uh, waiting too long to prevent a problem, getting caught doing something wrong, having to explain your behaviors, or catching someone in the act, or stopping a bad event from happening, nipping a problem in the bud. Kind of. It's a, almost too late, though. That's cool, isn't it? Glamour. Lucifer holds a mirror up to a rotted skeleton who sees an illusion of herself. It would be about delusion, not seeing things for who they are, living in a false reality, um, or seeing things better than what they really are, having a vision, or the struggle to uh, be the best version of yourself. The Flying Queen, soaring over the dark waves, looking for a better life, leaving her old past behind, escaping your situation, or the inability to escape your situation, or the courage to change in forward momentum. The Ordeal, a blindfolded witch, uh, dispels fear while creating a life of joy and meaning, does she? Oh, I guess so. Look, because she's like, just say, like, get out of here. All you fears. She drives all the fears away. Um, feeling consumed by the darkness. Needing approval of others before advancing or someone who's willing to go through the darkness to reveal the light. Bravery, having blind faith in your abilities and knowing that you will solve problems when they arise. Reincarnation. Starting over again. Being in a perpetual cycle, maybe redundancy or repeating mistakes, or a chance to begin again, continuing series of events, striving for perfection, improving from past mistakes. I like the moon. Uh, the bale fire, B-A-L-E, fire. The wicked couples leap over the bonfire, celebrating the fertility and honoring nature purified by the roaring flames. They set off into the wood to produce new offspring. So this might be about sinful sexual situations, wild or obscene behavior, failing to uphold long-standing tradition, or eliminating negative energies, purification, rites of passage, celebration and tradition, fiery passion, or procreating. Or creating. Why not working with another person to create something new? Oh, loads of stuff you can do with these cards. The Witch's Sabbat. Deep in the heart of the woods, the witches celebrate their Sabbath under a hypnotic moon. The witch queen raises her arms to conjure up darkness. The coven indulges in forbidden pleasures. Oh, she's kissing that demon's butt. They are just, I don't know what they're doing. They're licking each other. Uh, dangers or promiscuous rituals, debauchery. Uh, disregarding all inhibitions, wild group behavior. <clears throat> Sorry. Or celebrating in a group reunion. Uh, a pinnacle event, a crowning achievement. It's a reunion. <laughs> Too funny. And finally, what is this? Mildred and Claire, Fenwood Asylum, 1929. And just the M on the back, the bones and the skull. And I love this. And you know, this style back here, which is very much kind of pen and ink, you know, drawn, it's supposed to look like it's drawn by Mildred and, and colored in with blood and everything and um, hand printed or hand, you know, hand lettered with a, an old ink pen. And they've done that on the back. 
but then the front has this real look of block print, which is just cool. Okay, so I think that's cool. So that's that. Let's see. And then the book also has some example spreads. Here's one for Claire's. Let's see if we can get this. Claire's three card mashup. Good for shadow work and discovering hidden truths. I think this would be great for shadow work. Mildred's Magic Star. Mildred's Pocket Oracle may come in handy as you jump between numbers. Oh, what blocks you and then Pocket Oracle, Pocket Oracle, Pocket Oracle. Oh, that's clever. Okay. And then the end. And there's Mildred upside down. Uh, the Oracle of Black Enchantment is full of hidden meanings waiting to be discovered. I'm so sorry. Uh, as you already know, Mildred was a prankster, so we fully expect to find new things as we delve into the mysteries of this deck. We will be adding new spreads as they develop both throughout our own discoveries and by the progress of folks online. If you happen to concoct your own amazing spread, please share it with us so we can add it to this little white book. Thank you for always for your support. Sincerely, Patrick Lenza. Warden Fenwood Asylum. And so that's it, everyone. Mildred Payne's Oracle of Black Enchantment with the harp card. I just want to thank everyone for all their kind words and support and encouragement. And thank you for watching. Hopefully I will get this up today. And um, yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.